We've heard from Ron on the genesis of using story points. Now let's put on a scientific hat and hear from Magna on some of the evidence on why story points or hours could be better. Is there any scientific evidence to say that a points-based system is better than hours-based system? Yep. We have had, because the idea is that relative estimation is easier than absolute estimation, and which is a little bit strange claim because they're nothing like absolute estimation. I mean, in our brain, we it work relative. I mean, we when we think about hours, we still work relative to our experience. So, I mean, that's, just, that's also uh, relative. One of the reasons that people like using story points is that they do relative estimations. Uh, so what that means is you have something at a certain size and you say, is it bigger or is it smaller? Uh, there's absolutely no reason you can't use the same approach using hours. In the last part of this article, what we did is we looked at um, a bunch of search results from the top search engines and we went through and we analysed what are the advantages people are saying for story points and what are the disadvantages people are saying for story points. I found um, using story points uh, confuses people uh, and it's and when you're running a, a business where you always got to communicate uh, within some degree of certainty how long something is going to take, you're always flipping backwards and forwards between points and hours. And so we've just basically said, we're just gonna use hours. Let's just yep. use hours. But what we do to get around the problem, um, the big one that people talk about is what happens if someone in the team is way better at doing something than someone else? How do you actually do that? What we've said is basically, we're gonna estimate in hours based on a qualified person, not the amazing person, but a qualified person. And then if we do get someone amazing on the team that actually delivers it, then awesome for them. It just gives an advantage to the development team that's working on it. They got a little bit of extra time so we can bring up the quality a bit. So we, we estimate in hours based on what we believe a qualified person should be able to do. And if, and if someone's better, then that's, that's their advantage. I, I actually have found very few team who have on long term been able to use story points meaningfully. So it looks like it's very hard to use uh, meaningful. You are right about that. But yeah. I also have experienced that um, it's very interesting because when people use story points, very often they have this immediate translation in the head. So they think hours and then they speak uh, story points. <laughs> so I mean, you're not really using story points very often. You just use the word, but you're thinking in hours all the time. So it's very hard to make people, to make people stay thinking in story points and not in hours. So I think you are, I mean, it's easy to defend what you do. I want to thank Magna and Ron for jumping in and helping out with the actual interviews. I want to ask you a question. Do you use hours when doing estimations or do you use story points? 